Don't knock it till you try it, and you'll try it. We are back. Hey, it's 60 some degrees out today. We're in Ohio. Um, dude, been stuck in the house for a long time. Uh, it's a nice day. I'm feeling summery, so I'm like, uh, well, I'm kinda hungry. Let's do some burgers today. Um, one of my buddies hit me off with a little, a little question. I was like, bro, have you ever tried um, a certain burger? And I was like, bro, what's the, what, what burger are you talking about? He was like, have you ever put, uh, have you ever put uh, pork sausage in your burger? And I was like, nah, bro, I have not. AC, that was for you. So I'm going to actually try to do that today. We're going to emulate that. But first, we're doing some onions. We're gonna we're gonna caramelize some onions. We're gonna put them on this cast iron skillet. Cause so I'm not gonna be smoking today. I'm just using the smoker for the source of heat. Um, I know some of you people in the summer. If you're like me, um, I like to uh, I like to cook out as much as possible. Stay out of the house. Stop the oven from being turned on. It's 60 something degrees. I'm not saying I'm summer ready yet, but I'm just saying. I would rather not turn the heat on in the house and have the, the stove all hot and everything else. So, we're gonna do it outside today. We're just gonna, just feeling real festive today. We're gonna do some burgers, try a little something new, show you guys a little something new. Um, and we're gonna have a little fun with it. Um, so, we're gonna make these, they are gonna be beef and pork royal burgers with bacon on top got uh waffle fries with beer cheese sauce this is about to go down over here so stick with me stay plugged in we're gonna have a good time all right so we got our onions on we're gonna caramelize them up a little bit we're gonna add some of these little onions that are too charred up that's why i'm saying i'm throwing up uh some of you can some of you can't be but i don't really want to be too charred because some of you are going to go on uh, my beer cheese sauce and some are going to go inside my meat for my uh, burger. Put the bacon on that skillet. Get that bacon on there. Fry us up some. This is going to be the topper, the topper for our burger. You can even drizzle some of that beer cheese sauce on top if you like. We'll have a rockin', you know what I mean? Have a good old burger. But uh, like I said, be right back here in a second. We're gonna uh, we're gonna go in and, and mix up our patties, our a uh, little bit of our pork and a little bit of our beef. We're gonna hook it up. You guys, uh, stick with me here. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of something, something. You know what I mean? It ain't a lot, but it's a little. All right. So look, man. I was just I was just looking at something. Come on in here. So I'm here cooking the bacon, right? And I'm seeing how I got this flat tray. I'm supposed to do this in a, in a cast iron. I got this flat tray because it's only under fine. Uh, baby, don't be mad at me. I bought this. I spent like 90 bucks at Ace Hardware. Don't be mad. I know you're going to see this video like later tonight. You'll probably already have ate dinner, but don't be mad at me. Anyways, um, I'm looking at how, there's, how, the, how the grease is like, you see how it's like bubbling over? I'm kind of trying to stop that. So I'm just like dipping my buns in the bacon grease. With our sage and our hamburger, uh, one pound of sage uh, sausage, uh, sausage meat, and then uh, three pounds of hamburger meat, black pepper. All right, sea salt, garlic. Onions. Not a lot, just enough. Special treat for you guys. Special treat, special treat, special treat alert, special treat alert. Frenches. Fried onions. This is like our, it's gonna act like our binder. You know, some people put breadcrumbs in their freaking uh, meatloaf. We put French's onions in that shit. 
Yeah, we mix her up real good. And dude, literally, my my, what gave me the recipe, man, is is one of our viewers was like, dude, you should try this. And I also work with a guy, um, pretty cool dude, crazy as hell. He's the only only black guy I know who's got a curly mullet. But no, good dude, AC. Good call on this one. This looks pretty good. It's gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna put some more Frenches in here though. You know, French is whatever you want to use, but yeah, this is your binder. And you want to you want to kind of do it kind of fast as possible. But yeah, them onions are gonna, man, it smells so good. It's gonna, it's gonna taste so good. It's gonna be good once you make these patties, these balls, and then you smush them down on that grill. But guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, put your notifications on. Man, we we I'm I'm gonna try to do it as best as I can. Is uh Make a video every week, man. I'm trying to make a video every week. That's a pretty big bowl, man. I'm going to see if I can get eight of these out of here. My kids won't eat that many, but at least it's something for them. Maybe that's a daddy daddy hamburger over there. That'll be the one that we uh, we do at the end of the video. You guys will see it. It'll be the, the promo burger. Yeah, we'll do it like that. See what I'm saying, guys? That man, the onions are all through there. The caramelized onions, the French's onions, the salt, the pepper, the garlic. You know, that's what we're gonna do. Check this out. Make another burger. And if you don't got it while it's cold, it kind of like tend to fall apart. And that's why I'm kind of going kind of fast while doing it because I don't want my meat and my pork sausage to start to separate. So what the recipe calls for, a little pork sausage, so a pound, three pounds of burger, and then you just take your onions, caramelize them up, add just some bacon on top if you want. Um, you don't like onions, do it to taste. Do some of the, the French's onions uh, on top of the burger or something. If you don't like them inside, just experiment. You know what I mean? Try it on your own. Just try it out, man. Just check it out. This is just something I was like, man, I'm gonna try to do it like this. You know what I mean? I didn't have a ca cast iron skillet, so I'm just gonna try a little different way. But keep watching, I'm gonna show you something else too. I got them waffle fries, they're not, they're going in an air fryer. So I'll show you, I'll show you guys that. Um, just stick with me, I'm gonna try to make as many of these burgers as I can. We got eight, so I might even make like a little, I might make, somebody can have a double patty is what I'll do. I'll do a couple doubles. I'll make them decent size. Not too big, not too small. They'll be doubles though. Smash them. I think Chloe will want a double burger. Yeah, she wants a double. I think Daddy wants a double too. Get all these onions over here. I can't let these go to waste, buddy. All right. guys once I flip them and once we get a bunch of them like I said we got eight to go so I'll get you guys some done in and then you guys will see them in a second back in a second
Our burger and I ran into something that just looks freaking delicious. I'm gonna put a little drop cheese. All right, on so we staged our burger, man. Look at this. That beer cheese. We got them waffle fries. We're gonna try a little bit of this, man. We're gonna give it a little dunk. Give me the bigger dunk. Oh yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. Let's look at this burger. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see what we got. Let's look at this right here. Oh yeah, we got the onions on there. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm, dog so good. Hey guys, like, share, subscribe.